Okay, so today we're going to look at the Galaxy Book 10.6 inch, the Galaxy Book 12 inch, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. Now, why did Samsung make a Galaxy Book? Well, I've had the Note and I've used the Note for lots of artwork. But one of the problems is that I can do a lot with the Note, but it's Android. So I'm limited with the programs that I can use it for. Somehow Android doesn't have programs that are as, as well as professional as what's on Windows or Mac. I don't use Mac and that's another story. Uh, I have my own uh, issues with Macintosh, which I will, I will explain in a video comparing a Zune and an iPod. But I've been using the Note, and the Note is just fantastic. Now, one of the problems that I see is that many people who review uh, Samsung Galaxy Notes and their phones, and when they review the S Pen, they don't really take enough time to to elaborate on the S Pen and for some of them they don't draw and they're not artists but even if you're not an artist or you or uh, draw you should take some time out and use the S Pen I recommend about five hours if you're gonna do a review of a Samsung Galaxy Note whether it's a phone or a tablet or you're gonna you're gonna review the Galaxy Book or you're gonna review the HP Spectre or any of the other two-in-ones or the laptops with styluses you need to spend some time drawing if you want to do a review on these uh, gadgets so that's the issue that I'm going to talk about here because some people have said what what is the who is this galaxy book for well I, I'm a I'm a note user and like I said the problem I have is that this note doesn't, uh, the problem with Android is I can't do some certain things. They need to actually beef up the, the apps that are available in Android. Uh, and so I'm limited in a sense of how far I can go because I use 3D software, Maya, 3D S Studio Max, uh, and I used Photoshop, uh, 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 Illustrator, Premiere, and After Effects, and Android apps are not getting anywhere near that. They're kind of going in the other direction of just making novelties, like adding stickers and making it just very for a novice rather than a professional. And that's something I'm going to talk about. So let's let's take a look at this right here. This is the note. This is my note that I use all the time. And I'm just going to compare the size here. So here's the note. Let's get in here. And uh, the note has a great screen. It's 2560. Let me clear this out. It's a 2560 by 1600. It's a TFT display. Now, in the beginning, you look at this. And there's just some, there's just some great, let's try that again. So I just want to show you how great the picture is. Okay, so the notes got a really vivid, really, just an amazing display. It's just so intricate, just so detailed. And uh, the S Pen is right here. So with this S Pen, I, I can just do some just some phenomenal things on this when I go into Sketchbook. And I'm going to show you some artwork that I've done. Even I have the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, which is just an excellent phone. And I use that. I've done some great works uh, of art on there. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, you can take a look at those pictures. But uh, my main objective, I'm not going to do an unboxing. I'm going to show you 
uh, what you can do with these devices and why Samsung went to the book that I believe. And I think it's a great decision. I think they did a great job in what they've done. So we'll go back to the note. I'm going to do a review of the note and show you the artwork that I've done and what I can do with it in another video. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you get in the Galaxy Book. I'm going to compare the sizes so you look at it. And then in another video I'm going to talk about uh, the stand and uh, I'm going to try some software that can get into this that you can put onto these tablets, two-in-ones. So, now that's the note. And we'll look at that further. But let's compare its size. And let's look at this. So first we have, the first one we're going to look at is the book. This is the 10.1 book. When you open it up, this is what you get inside. Now there's some great video, uh, some YouTubers who do some great unboxings. So I'm going to let you go ahead and, and look at their unboxings. But this is what you get. This is the 10.6 edition. And let's compare that in size to the Note. So you can see the size there. And then of course in it you get you get the book, the um, the keyboard tablet. I'm going to open that. I'm going to put it all together and then look at it another time. And this is what you get inside. You get the charger, the cable, some uh, documents, and you have the pulling out the S stylus, the, the the nib, and here's the the little holder that you put on the side, and there's the S pen. Okay, so now the, you're going to get the exact same thing in the next size version. So this is the 10.6 note. And we're gonna we're gonna compare the size here, and then let's look at the next one. This is a 12-inch note. Now the one I got is the top one, which is the 8 gigabyte 256. I wanted the top one, and this is the 10.6 64 gig. I wanted the bottom one so I can compare them and also because that's that's exactly what I need for what I do. Now here's the here's the 12 inch and you can compare it. I also have the Note Pro which I'll show you in another video. I don't have it on me here today. So here's the 12 inch. You can see the size compared to the 10.1. And then I'm going to compare the two together. Now the same one you get inside here, same thing in the box, you're going to get the keyboard stand. It's nicely packaged. And again, the same stuff. S Pen, documents, the nub, the, the holder, USB-C, and the fast charger. Both of them come with fast chargers. And the price of these devices is just, just excellent. So it's right on the money. I mean, Samsung had a special, and they 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 gave this book at four ninety nine. Plus, you get a uh, the Norse uh, the Statler Norse pen, which I'll show you later. And uh, this one was the eleven ninety nine. Yeah, just a great deal from Samsung. And they both came with the Statler Norse pen as a gift. So now let's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare. Uh, the sizes of the two uh, together. So I'm going to just keep the, the note here in the background. And let's get these out together. So 
So, here's the book compared to the other book. I'm going to hold these here. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this. Maybe I can put them down and take a look. So let me just set that up and we can take a look at these together. Let's take a look at this. So this is the sizes of them. This is the you know the size is 10.6, 12 inch. And this is the note, 10.1. Now the great thing about this, about this, what they've done is that now I can do all the great things that I'm able to do with a note, but I'm gonna able to do it on a Windows platform. And that's the next test, is I'm gonna put in some software, the software that I wanna use on both of the tablets both of these two tablets right here. I'm gonna put Photoshop, I'm gonna get the Adobe Suite, and I'm gonna put in 3D uh, Maya. I'm gonna test that out. And uh, see what kind of stuff I can create and how, uh, how well these devices work with them. So we can do a real review of what a great job they've done. And this is exactly what I think we needed. We needed a note that could work on Windows. That's exactly what artists like me are looking for, uh, that I've been looking for. I, I, I'm not interested in buying the Cintiq or Wacom because I'm very happy with the S Pen, but I want to use it in Photoshop and Premiere and After Effects and animate which is like flash and I want to use it for 3D uh, software like Maya so I can texture my objects in Photoshop so that's it for now uh, the next video I'm going to talk about the uh, the stands now what one other quick story I wanted to tell you is that you know when I when I first had computers I never wanted to buy a laptop because the PCs back then, when you bought a laptop, you were paying for the for them to put it in a small package. Whereas with a PC, you can upgrade the the hard drive, you can upgrade the RAM, and you can always there's always room for expansion because things were moving fast back then. This is about 15 years ago or more. But buying a laptop at the time was you were paying more and and. Pretty soon it would be outdated because everything was getting better. Now things are getting better right now too. But what's happened is that laptops now have, have gotten a lot of, have gotten better. And you're able to use great software. So around 2002 or so, I, I started buying laptops. Now I've been using laptops for about 15 years. And one of the things I have to say is that I never put a laptop on my lap. I, I'm not that guy. I don't do that because when I use my laptop I use it like a desktop because I do artwork I mean if I'm gonna type something on it I put it on the desk if I'm gonna draw on it I use my mouse to draw and I have my keyboard that which you need in Photoshop or Maya you have gotta put one left hand on the on the keypad and the others on the mouse and that's how you work in Maya and that's how you work in Photoshop so this is your mouse and that's how you work so putting it on a lap is not is never going to happen because I can't use a mouse and use a keyboard on my lap and what for? See, I'm not sitting in bed doing working on the computer. Now I've got a tablet if I want to sit in bed. But anyway, so there's been complaints about the uh the keyboard stand on the on the book because you know, you're going to have problems putting it on your lap. Well, I, that doesn't bother me at all because I never put it on my lap. The only thing that I do do with the tablet, a tablet I do put on my lap. When I'm going to draw, I'll take this out. I'll put it on my lap. I've got my pen here and I'm drawing. And what I'll do is I'll rest my hand right here on the actual stand, which is just the flopping thing. So. I rest it here and I draw here and this is just resting on my lap. So this is how I use a tablet. 
or I'll put the tablet flat on the table and, you, and sit on the table and use it. So there's never an issue of me of whether or not, because the Microsoft uh, Surface, people are talking about how they love the kickstand and all that, you know, and that the kickstand allows them to, to uh, you know, put it on their lap. Well, I'm not that guy, you know, and I'm glad that Samsung has made something for me because I don't want to use it on my lap. I'm not going to be productive. I don't do spreadsheets. I, I do write occasional short stories, but I do that all on a table, you know, or a coffee shop. I don't put it down on my lap. So my main purpose when I buy uh, this, this product here is I want to draw. I want to do artwork, you know. I want to do the best, most detailed artwork that I can. I want it to be cutting edge. I want it to be to the newest. And so I'm going to set this on a table. Now, I, I, I would set this on my lap at, by itself out of the case to draw it. Or I set it on a table. And I'll be using it with a keyboard stand pretty much just to keep it safe. And occasionally if I do want to write or email or something, you know, then I'll put that, I'll put this on my, uh, on the table. But I don't need it for the lap. So that's the, that's the thing that I've heard some complaints about that. And I'm glad that Samsung didn't waste any time with that because that doesn't help me. And I'm sure it doesn't help a lot of artists out there who are dedicated artists who spend time drawing on their note and now can draw on their Galaxy Book. Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, the next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these put together. I just wanted to show you them in the box, uh, what it looked like. And we'll go over the specs and uh, I'll show you some pictures and stuff. And I'm going to try loading some software on it. Okay, thanks a lot.